the pendulum sweep. This is a beautiful, effortless sweep once you learn the details of it. So I'm gonna talk you through it. The sweep is based on somebody being in your guard and having a good base, so it's hard to knock them sideways. If they're leaning back, you just hit a Kimura sweep and knock them back. So most of the time they're not leaning back, they're leaning forward. And their base, besides their knees, is you. So anytime you're trying to bring them forward, they can use you as their base. So the pendulum sweep is you're going to move yourself out of the way so they don't have that base there. So your upper body is going to move, take away their base. Your lower body then is going to bring them up and then knock them sideways. And without that base there to rely on, they're going to fall forward. So let me demonstrate. So I have my opponent and my guard, this sweep. If I'm trying to knock her off to the side, she's going to get base. I'm trying to pull her forward. She's using me as a base. So what I'm going to want to do is turn myself away from her. I'm not coming up on a hip and shrimping. My hips are still staying on the mat, but I'm doing like a side bend or a side crunch to move myself sideways. I'm also going to be on the opposite side of the way, moving out of the way, holding her hand, either grabbing the sleeve or the wrist to keep her from being able to post that hand out and stop the sweep. And then my other hand is gonna be used to go under her leg to use, to help me turn my body this way, as well as then to help complete the sweep. So that's what my upper body does. Grab, grab underneath, turn this way. My lower body, this is the pendulum part of the sweep. My legs are gonna pull her forward and then open up wide. Legs straight. This leg is gonna kick up behind her shoulder, moving her off balance and knocking her down. And post, keeping her post hand here. And this other leg is going to circle down and underneath. So she falls, not on my leg, stopping her sweep, stopping the sweep, falling all the way over. So. Up, windmilling the legs, and coming up on top and mount. So that is the pendulum sweep. One more time for the partner for demonstration. She's in my guard. I want to try to bring her forward, controlling the arm, coming under the leg, opening the legs, and windmilling them. This works particularly well. If somebody's in your guard and they're even doing this, putting their weight forward on you, even jumping up on their legs and using it as a tripod, because then when you turn and move out of the way, taking away their base. So beautiful application of that sweep if they're making it difficult for you, but already doing most of the hard work. All right, here's a couple options if you don't have a training partner, if you have a training dummy. Like one of these, we still try to simulate that sweep. I'm gonna put my dummy in my guard. Try to get the legs set up somewhat close to a, it's not really like a human being, it's like they're sprawling already, but I'm gonna be grabbing the sleeves, keeping the sleeve grip. This other hand is gonna dive underneath the leg, open the legs up, and then windmill them around to come up on top. So you practice it with a dummy or Worst case, you don't even have a dummy. You have a kicking shield, you have a duffel bag, you have something. We can approximate at least the torso here. And you can bring the hips up, open the legs, grabbing the control and keep this close to you. The other hand, imagining you're reaching under, grabbing the leg, hooking, opening the legs, windmilling them. Come on. Biggest challenge I see for people with this, so I'm doing it this way now, is that bottom leg gets lazy and falls while they try to sweep over with the top leg and their opponent is falling on this leg, stopping the sweep and able to then get their balance back. So it's important you really windmill that leg all the way around. At the end of the sweep, you should look like this leg is out perpendicular, this other leg is back here, ideally even bent. So you've moved it out of the way of the person falling through your legs. That's the pendulum sweep. I hope that helps. Hit me up if you got any questions.